Hello everyone, I'm Irina Bakley. I'm a licensed relationship therapist in the states of Virginia and North Carolina. And I work with couples who feel like roommates or who feel like they cannot talk to each other because they're too frustrated and they're not, mis they're always misunderstood and unheard and unseen in this relationship. And I also like working with individual clients who are going through life transitions or who are, who are experiencing anxiety or relationship stress um, and they're trying to optimize their um, health and mental health and become a better version of themselves. So today we are continuing our series on what to expect. I am on a mission to demystify what's happening inside couples counseling sessions, inside individual counseling sessions, so that you guys are more informed about the process and you can make a better decision for yourself and for your family um, and for your relationship, whether this is something that you want to pursue. Um, <clears throat> the last two times, two videos, we've talked about what to expect during your weekly couples counseling sessions and what to expect during your weekly individual counseling sessions. Uh, if you're interested um, to hear more about that, just go and find those videos. And today we're talking about what to expect during your last marriage counseling session. Believe it or not, people do graduate and people do get better and people do, um, you know, want to go and practice and experience this new way of being out of the world without weekly guidance. Um, and my, my job <laughs> as a therapist is really to get, uh, you know, to, uh, to put myself out of the job because I don't want you to be in counseling forever and I want you to graduate and I want you to experience a sense of relief and a sense of confidence um, that you're able to actually do this outside of session successfully. So, you know, it takes a while, um, about a year on average, uh, sometimes longer, sometimes shorter amount um, to experience a really long lasting uh, change, but in terms of what to expect during your last couple's uh, um, uh, counseling session is that we are going to talk about our work together, what we have done together, what are the, our goals that we have accomplished together. We're going to review your relationship cycle, right, or dance that we all get stuck in. Um, and understand, you will be able to really understand your relationship dance. You're going to really understand when your partner gets distressed, when your partner gets big, when your partner gets angry, or when your partner shuts down, it means there is something happening for them, right? So you're not going to be as reactive as you used to be. You're not going to feel as threatened. It's not going to be a threat anymore to you. You're going to be able to see underneath um, that behavior and underneath that reactivity, you're going to really be able to connect to the pain that the partner is experiencing. You're going to be able to decode what's happening for your partner and look at it from loving and empathy kind of, um, you know, place within, within yourself. Um, you're going to understand that intimacy means into me which means that you have to do your own work to really heal and to really understand yourself. And then you have to communicate your needs and wants, excuse me, to your partner. So it's a uh, individual work and couples work are parallel processes. And a lot of people need both in order to fully integrate all the skills and knowledge undo old limiting inherited belief systems and learn this new way of being um, and communicating and and having the language to express themselves so that their partner feels um, uh, you know the partner can receive it in a loving way um, you would you would we would talk about how, you know, going forward, like how have you learned to emotionally reach for your partner, what that looks like, um, and, and, um, and maybe even brainstorm some of the other, you know, future scenarios 
um, that can come up for you if they're causing you anxiety today. So we can we can kind of troubleshoot with this fresh um, understanding of 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 life, really of relationships. Um, so it is the the last counseling, you know, marriage counseling session is similar to other sessions, but also different because we are just going to be a lot of reflection. We are going to be doing a lot of reflections and reviewing of past work and really creating a plan of moving forward. You know, I usually tell clients that I'm always here. I'm going to close their, their, their file now, but, but they're, they're very welcome to reopen it in the future. Um, a lot of my clients are able and never um, abuse the privilege of texting me um, and I check in with my old clients, you know, oftentimes every six months, a year or so. I like to be sending um, resources and books and things like that. With COVID, I've been, I've been checking in with, with old clients. So because I don't have a huge caseload, every, every client, I take it very, very seriously. And um, I carry all the stories and all the pain um, throughout, you know, with me throughout the weeks and throughout life. And so if we work together, you will, you're, you're in my heart. Um, and, um, sometimes we reconnect. So, but it's, it's still a therapist, uh, client relationship. So we don't go out or anything like that. Um, but within those limits of therapist client relationship, we are, um, we are connected if, if, if you're willing to do that. So thank you so much for listening, you guys. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or you would like to schedule a consultation with me, please give me a call. Um, not a call, I'm sorry. Please go on my website at www.irinabakelycounselingllc.com. Follow the instructions. I'll give you a call. And then we will see if we are a good fit. Thank you.